Genius Kids. Cultivating love for learning. Reproduction in plants. Knowledge acquisition. In this chapter, we will study about the importance of plants in our life. Different methods of reproduction in plants. Growing plants from seeds and vegetative parts. Different parts of seeds. Importance of seed dispersal. Plants play an important role in our life. They give food to all living things. Plants give us fibers for making clothes and wood to make furniture. Plants also give us medicines, rubber, tea, coffee, cocoa, tobacco, and many other things. They also give us oxygen. Life on the earth cannot exist without plants. Reproduction in plants. All living things give birth to their young ones for continuing their species on the earth. Biological process by which new organisms are produced from their parents is called reproduction. Plants are also living things. Like animals, plants grow up and reproduce. Plants reproduce in various ways, from seeds from spores, from different parts of plant, structure of seed. If you eat an apple, you will find seeds inside. A new plant grows from these seeds. Have you ever observed a seed carefully? Observe what a seed look like. Each seed is covered by a covering known as seed coat which protects the seed from damage. The seed coat has a tiny hole through which the seed gets water. Inside the coat a baby plant is present along with its stored food. Seed leaves or cotyledons stores food for the baby plant which may be single or double. Growing plant from seed. New plants mostly arise from seed. A seed grows into a seedling when it is sown in the right type of soil and it receives sufficient amount of water, air and warmth. This process by which a seed grows into a seedling is called germination. Activity Soak some bean seeds overnight in water. In the morning take them out from water and remove the seed coat. You will find two cotyledons which are thick and fleshy. You will find a small baby plant in the middle. The development of a seed into a seedling has to go through a number of stages. These stages are as follows. A seed is sown into the soil. It is watered daily to remain moist and the seed coat can be broken easily. It gets air from atmosphere and warmth from the sun. The seedling breaks the seed coat and comes out of the seed. It obtains its food firstly from cotyledons and then from the soil. The seedling develops roots and shoots. The seedling now develops leaves and branches and finally grows into a plant. Dispersal of seed. To avoid growing very close to each other, plants take help of agent like wind, water or animal to scatter their seeds. The process by which the seeds are scattered away from the parent plant is called dispersal. Let us study mechanism of dispersal of seeds by these agents. 1. Dispersal by wind. Seeds of some plants like cotton, sycamore are very light and have wings or hair. Therefore, these seeds are easily carried away by wind to distant places. 2. Dispersal by water. Seeds of some plants like coconut, lotus grow along the banks of rivers or seas are scattered by water. Seeds of such plants are spongy or fibrous which helps them to float on water. Water then carries them from one place to another. 3. Dispersal by animals. Almost all animals, including human beings and birds, 
eat different types of fruits and throw away the seeds which grow into new plants on getting appropriate conditions for growth. Some fruits and seeds have spikes or hooks by which they stick to our clothes or to the fur of animals. They help in their dispersal. For explosion, some fruits scatter their seeds by exploding the seed pods. When the seeds are ripe and the pod has dried, it bursts open and the seeds are scattered. For example, pods of squirting cucumber spread their seeds by explosion. New plants from other parts of plant. Plants are amazing. They can grow not only from the seeds but also with the help of their roots, stems and leaves. One, reproduction by roots. Carrot, radish, turnip, sweet potato and dahlia are special types of roots where food material is stored for future use. The roots of these plants can give rise to a new plant if put in moist soil. 2. By stems, potato, onion and ginger are underground stems of the plant that grow into new plants. Potato has buds called eyes. Any part of potato that has eyes on it can grow into a new plant. Critical thinking Plants like ferns and fungi do not grow from seeds. They grow from tiny structure called spores. 3. By leaves, the leaves of certain plants like bryophyllum produce buds in their margin. Complete plant can be grown from these leaves if they are placed in moist soil. Crops and agriculture. Plants provide food, oxygen, medicine, timber, etc. to us. We grow plants on a large scale so that we can get enough food and other products to fulfill our needs. This practice of growing plants on a large scale for food or other products is called agriculture. These plants are known as crops. Farmers grow different crops in different season. Some crops like rice and maj are grown in summer from June to October. These are called kharif crops. Crops like wheat and gram are grown in winter from November to April and are called rabi crops. Why growing a particular crop? The following points should be kept in mind. Different crops grow well in different types of soil. The seeds should be sown in the right type of soil to ensure maximum production of crops. Always use good quality seeds otherwise good and healthy crops would not be obtained. Manure is added into the soil to increase production. Fertilizers like urea, superphosphate, Ammonium sulfate and nitrate are added to the soil. However, overuse of fertilizers can be harmful for the soil as well as the crops. The crop is prone to damage by pests, birds, grazing animals and diseases. It can be protected in the following ways. A. Proper fencing. B. Spraying pesticides and insecticides. C. Storing the harvested crop properly in sealed containers. D. Using scarecrows. Continuous review. Production of young ones of its own kinds from parents is called reproduction. Each seed is covered by a covering known as seed coat. The process by which a seed grows into a seedling is called germination. The process by which the seeds are scattered away from the parent plant is called dispersal. Potato, onion and ginger are underground stems of the plant. Plants provide food, oxygen, medicine, timber, etc. to us. Crops like rice and maj are grown in summer. Crops like wheat and gram are grown in winter. Like, share and subscribe.